Hi, my name is Richard Mott and I'm a final year PhD student at the University of Glasgow's Institute of Biodiversity, Animal Health and Comparative Medicine. And I'm going to talk to you today about our most recent paper looking at the use of human heart rate monitors for assessing heart rate variability in horses. Now the paper contains a lot of extra information regarding reference ranges and artifact correction. But the key takeaway for today is that the Polar V800 is not as bad as a lot of people make out, although it does have some serious limitations. We compared two compact human heart rate monitors, the Polar V800 and the ActiHeart 5, with a clinical 4-lead ECG on static horses, with both the Polar and the ActiHeart using the Polar equine belts, as can be seen in the image on the top left. From the results, we can see that although the ActiHeart gives the best agreement with the clinical ECG, the results from the Polar are still acceptable, but only when a more stringent threshold of 0.4 seconds is set for the artifact correction. The image on the top right is an ECG trace taken from the ActiHeart, and the black vertical lines indicate where a beat has been detected. The green highlighted area shows where an ectopic spike has been misidentified as a beat, and we can assume that the Polar would have made the same error. But, and this is the key difference, with the ECG, these errors can be manually corrected before analysis, and so is always going to be more accurate than polar generated data. Another issue is movement artifact, but this is more about how the device is attached to the horse rather than the device itself. The polar equine belts are prone to moving on exercising horses, and this produces very noisy data. But back to my previous point, with an ECG such as the ActiHeart, you can manually filter out a lot of that noise, but with a polar, you can't. It is feasible that the accuracy of the V800 with exercising horses could be improved if it was adapted to be used with ECG pads, but this is yet to be validated under exercise conditions.